Yeah. <laughs> Who would like to recap? <sighs> Volunteers? Tribute? Um... Well, okay. I'll oh. get us started. Mm -hmm. We went to find Marai. Um, Marai was outside of District 10. Um, in like... It, it seemed like a, a library of sorts. Um, she explained... Well, okay, first of all, Azra and I went down. Um, one of us faster than the other, uh, but one of us safer than a, the other. A lot faster. <laughs> okay, it's not a competition. Exactly. Um, even though I would have won. Um, it was. Uh, so. Yeah, uh, found her there. Um, we did kind of split up on the way back to the caldera because she didn't want to talk about what was going on um or like what she found there um right there necessarily but also didn't want to leave because she didn't know if she'd be let back um seemed like it was maybe uh well she described it as oh wait no she didn't describe it i think she described something that was in a prp session so we didn't know that so yeah, mm -hmm. that never happened I don't know what you people are talking about. <laughs> I have a lot of hallucinations. Yeah. <laughs> um, so we did get back to the caldera. Um, we got a little bit of exposition about uh, very bad things uh, that may happen to us, to uh, Ravnica, us, uh, which would include us as individuals. Um, We're all going to die. Yeah. Well, we knew that Pretty already. Much. Yeah, we knew that from the session one, so... We decided that, like, having some ability to communicate would be a really good idea. Um, and since we do tend to take on projects, like... Solo? Uh, solo, or, or not necessarily just solo, but, like, in split groups. Uh... The ability to contact one another uh, would prevent a situation like the prior day, uh, just because Mariah wasn't really in danger, but we didn't know that. So, uh, we set about trying to uh, find some uh, sending stones. Uh, a few of us had different leads. I think Cordelia tried to get some requisitioned, um, which is difficult because there's a limited number of them and they're kind of reserved for, like, you have to have a specific purpose stated and justified. For why you want them. For why you want them, right. I like to call it an angel airstrike, not to like yeah. make personal calls. <laughs> exactly. They're not cell phones. Yeah. For children. Right. Um. Then I don't think Talon had success with it either because they use animal messengers yeah. predominantly to Later. communicate. Right. Um. And Ozra, I think, sort of a similar like, yeah, we have some, but not for you. Oh um, no, I didn't. I didn't. I knew. Oh, no, you I didn't. was stealing. No, I'm That's stealing. That's right. Them. You're stealing. That's right. That was what the <laughs> vault was about. Okay, so we'll get to that later. Um, Speaking of stealing, that's right. That was the whole. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> um. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. Speaking of stealing, um, Kalista and Marai went out to uh, find materials because Marai can craft them with a couple of days and the appropriate. Uh, reagents. So we found out it would cost about 700 gold, which seemed like a lot. Um, and not. Kalista thought that she could get a better deal. And, and no, it, it's not a lot, but um, it seemed that way. Uh, so 
Kalista took Mariah out with the list, uh, impersonated someone else, uh, used uh, Mariah's voice as a student and kind of swindled the um, the person, the merchant selling the reagents uh, into selling them for 300 gold with the use of the friend spell and very, very high persuasion. Um, allowed a down payment of 300 gold and then took the materials left and after a minute he realized that magic was used on him and he's never seeing that shit again. Uh, so uh, he was very upset, called the guard, and probably described someone that will never be found because they don't exist. Hopefully. Then um we had the uh, engagement party. Did I miss anything in between that? No. Okay. Uh, yeah, we had the engagement party uh, for Azra's sister, uh, Sabriel. And that was where, I mean, all kinds of goofy things happened there, but um, yeah, that was where My we learned that her terror. sister repainted not only the room, but all of the contents of the room as well. Uh, pink. <sighs> Mr. Bones. <laughs> <laughs> and... All those press the digitate, it's fine. <laughs> um, also, her mother is not doing well, it seems. Seems to be quite mm -hmm. sick. Um, and her brother is going to help uh, Azra find a vault to steal things from, uh, possibly, hopefully, including but not limited to sending stones. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, finally, we wrapped up with, uh, Cordelia. And I think, was Mariah involved, too? I think Mariah was involved, yes, too. Yes, Mariah got of them. pulled along with <clears throat> Yeah. Uh, basically being uh, wingman for Talon, um, trying to find a nice person to settle down with. Um, and a Quite portal splendid. opened nearby. His spider senses went off. I think it was 90 feet, even so very close by to where they were. It was 90 feet, yep. Yeah. I got a memory like a donkey. They have very good memories, actually. Yeah. I know. So, why don't uh, you give me a perception check, Elon? I will when my character sheet stops annoying me. Mm, so, never. Mm, exactly that. Oh, there we go. Oh, look. Ah, the first roll of the night. Yes, it's a wonderful. Ha 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 ha. There was a 10% chance he could have done worse. So it could have been worse. <laughs> Yay. Thanks, Mariah. Yeah. Um. Give me that portal thingy that you have. I will give you that portal thingy that I have, and it is. Uh, yeah, like, you, you had a pretty good beacon on it, but it was, like, quick. Like, yeah, it like was maybe. here and gone. Yeah, it was, like, here and gone within 12 seconds. Ooh. So, um, by the time you get out on the street, like, you know it was about 90 feet away from you. Um, mm. in, uh... Here, I think. Oh, that's the one. Yeah. Uh, in, um... I'm not good. North, sir. Northeastern direction. 
I'm good with north and south. That's east and west. I'm having this. <laughs> because I don't know the difference. Between Never right. eat soggy waffles. It's soggy wieners, you pleb. Why would it? So the people with you currently is Mirai. Was was it only Mirai with me? I mean, oh, yeah, Cordelia yeah. is was, in, yeah, but she's Cordelia out. is in the club talking to a cute boy. Yeah, if you're what like, what does she need? A portal, what Mirai a wingman! Would have dropped everything. Yeah. Uh, I suppose I, we stopped right as their mention of a portal. We didn't get any further than that, correct? Mm hmm. Hmm. Like, just being all nice with a drink of something in hand is like. I, I believe there is a portal that just opened very close by. What are we waiting for? Let's go. I down the rest of the drink, whatever it is that I've gotten in my hands, and then just not. You know the general direction? It was east. Very close, I said. Meters. Let's head east. I cast a tech magic, not as a ritual. We ain't got time for that shit. Let's just go. Ooh, it's all business, Mariah. Oh, very old business. Science is happening under... Not under my watch. It needs to be under my watch. I mean, there is... Pretty massive... Magic. Yeah. Hap happening. Much magic is happening. Much is magic there is happening. Any person though who's like a beacon versus like and your usual muted magicness around. And maybe stand out just a little cause some planeswalkers stand out. Why don't you give me a perception? <laughs> a perception check. Yay. Uh, no, right. oh. Like it's it's in conjunction with magic. Um, yeah, I think <clears throat> there is one, uh, person in particular that like really uh seems to have a glow up are they pretending like they don't know nobody uh no it um it is um She appears to be a member of Izzet. Oh. <laughs> Suppose I could explain. Uh. And, hmm, H how to put, um, I think what really stands out to you is, um, 
there is another woman not very far behind her. Uh, the two of them look vaguely similar. They have a darker tint of skin than what you commonly see. Uh, in the area. Uh, but the first woman looks quite asset like. She's very wearing um, like a, a blue strange gown with like a, a brightly colored red sash over it um, and ornate jewelry. Okay. Uh, the other woman who was like, she was just out of reach of your, like, it's only 30 feet. Uh, yeah. Like magic. Um, but now that you notice the first, like the, the other woman is still out of reach, but it's just, they have the same like darker tint of skin. And I think that's why the two of them both stand out. Okay. Hmm. I'll, I'll, I'll like, in a low voice, talk to Taylor. Like, I think if anyone here could have made that portal it's it's probably those two over there should we try striking up a conversation i don't they don't seem like people who would cause a fuss at least so no harm in trying okay well i'm not very good at conversation so Oh, don't you worry. I am splendid. I blink a few times. Let's try and not awkwardly sidle up to these individuals. Or maybe the more direct approach would be better. Okay, but if they start running, it's not my fault. But it is both our faults. I'm sure it'll be fine. Yeah! What could the problem be? Mm. Uh, what school of magic am I primarily picking up? Um, from this woman? Uh, like, What's tra teleportation and transportation magic? That. Okay. I think it's transmutation, but... Yeah. I think so too, but I'm not really sure. And I can't be bothered to look at some ways. Conjuration. Conjuration, maybe. There you go. That would fit pretty well if that's who I think it is. I suppose we strodle up a bit nonchalantly. So what if we pretend because you're you're looking for a lady? <laughs> yeah, no. Okay. How about we use your skills as in you simply felt something and they seem capable? Um, Said the fucking pigeon. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Well, you lead the charge if you have a bright idea. I don't. I don't know what were was in those drinks back at the bar, but I'm not feeling too bright right now. You're always bright. Oh, thanks. So go be bright with the other brights. Uh, 
I'll uh, drop concentration on detect magic because I don't think I'll need anymore. And yeah, let's let's go over. Sure, you you head over there. Uh, the two women seem to be like in a whispered conversation. I would like to try it over here. <laughs> uh, sure. Give me a perception check. Um, what languages do you speak? Uh, uh common, draconic, Vidalcan, and Sphinx. Yeah, they're speaking a strange tongue that you can't understand. That's fair. I could cast Comprehend Languages, but they'd probably definitely notice that now that I'm closed. Definitely, maybe. Um, I'll just sort of clear my throat and <clears throat> say, um, are you from the Izzet League? I, I don't believe we've had the pleasure of meeting. Uh, the woman who appears to be from the Izzet League, uh, give me an insight. Okay. There's like a, a little frown. No, I... I do not belong to the League. Oh, sorry for assuming. I just thought... With the, uh, your outfit, you're kind of sporting our colors. She sort of looks down at herself and then over at you. Oh, I see. Um, no offense. Intended. Yeah. Oh, um. Sorry. Um, I couldn't help it over here. That was a really interesting uh, language you were speaking, and something of a oh, what is the word? Cunning linguist. Yes, I'm. I'm something of a linguistics expert myself, but I don't recognize the language. I was wondering if you could tell me which language it is, so I can uh, go learn it, essentially. It's Dish. Ah, uh, Dish, of course. Thank you. Uh, are you from District 10 or are you here on business, pleasure? Just visiting friends. Mm. Okay, I I'm sorry to take up all your time. The two women kind of like exchange a look and look back at you and then as a chorus they both go like Oh not at all Uh So besides a darker complexion now that I'm closer what's going on with the other the other one? Uh, what's going on with the other one? Uh, she, um, she has a darker complexion. Uh, her clothing, uh, is like 
she's armored um not very tall um muscular build like she reminds you more of like cordelia build wise than okay. anyone else uh like she's definitely seen some training uh whereas you know sahili doesn't just like, sure. pretend like you don't know who, who she is <laughs> right uh, is it a and Wally or some loot yeah it's a helian one so um like while Sahili is the taller of the two she's very like <sighs> she looks like maybe a dancer whereas Huatli looks like she'll be the one punching you out on a Saturday night fair enough oh well um, look at the time um, our friends will they worry uh, if we do not we should get going it was very nice to meet yeah. you Yeah, we just uh, noticed your portal and thought we'd come over. Oh! Yes, just traveling, visiting friends. Okay. Again, sorry for taking up all your time. Not at all. And the two of them, like, give each other looks like, can we go? Should we leave? <laughs> we should leave. <laughs> and sort of start quick stepping, like, just, you know, not really a direction, just away from you guys. Uh, I turn back to Taylor. These. Portal users are a strange bunch. They are very strange, but maybe they have a good reason. I'm starting to wonder where they could even be from. I've never heard of Deej, and neither have I. I don't know. It's just getting stranger and stranger. To that, we agree. Maybe we should go back and check on Cordelia. Or maybe we shouldn't. No? Honestly, you did see she was quite busy. Not True. a surprise if she's busy during. Well, every hour. Mm -hmm. Okay. This was going on concurrently of the engagement Friday, though, right? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. And, like, you could send an animal messenger to them. Mm -hmm. I could. Like, it's still an animal that actually has to traverse the city, so probably gonna take a while to get them a message, but... Or you can try your luck and maybe fireball yourself. Yeah, could do that. That sounds like a lot more fun. Well, I need... Four or higher to succeed. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. And I do have four as important. So mm -hmm. technically I could auto succeed. But... And I would survive fireballing myself. Mm -hmm. Though I might be arrested for public endangerment if we do it right. <laughs> I have to 
could be fun, but... Yeah, I mean, it's a little after midnight, so, like, across the okay. town, uh, Kalista and Azrael are sort of, like, you know, making their excuses or saying their goodbyes. Cordelia is like, are we gonna arrest her or can I go home and sleep? <laughs> yeah, why not? I'll I'll send a sending to let's say Azrael. Just um let's see. We found two more portal users. Uh, they are gone. It's fine. We are heading to bed. And I'll use my four to get sixteen on the arcana roll. <laughs> okay. Uh, Azra will just send her back. Sounds good. Talk about it in the morning. In the background, Kalista is like slamming her head against the wall. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I can just hear her. Don't. <laughs> Why is she slamming her head against a wall? Because it feels so good when you stop. <laughs> um. Yeah, okay. Everyone heads to their respective homes. And, uh, takes long night. Also called a long rest. Uh, anyone who is not taking a long rest or doing anything else that evening? No. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Then... Yeah. The only one doing something else is Cordelia. <laughs> well, someone she's else. doing someone else. Um... Yep. So, it's a new day, it's new dawn, everyone can push the long rest. Ooh. Text message. Yeah. Um... So, uh, let's see, Mirai, where are you spending the night? I'm not letting Mirai out of my sight before I know that she's safe somewhere. Well... Talon seems to want... to... Babysit you? Yeah. And I did tell my mother that I would crash crash there and then I didn't mm -hmm. so... although it is late it was just barging at like I mean you did get your own key so okay. it's not like you have to wake up yeah crash with mom uh yeah how how's your mom's living situation in uh District 3. She probably lives pretty simply. I think she probably has a lot of plants and pets to help with the empty nest syndrome. And because she's uh, 
Bosnia now. Valid. I think they're like you don't forget everything just because you change your allegiance. So there's probably True. some like is it touches like she has an automated watering system that starts right. at random intervals. Like yeah, there's some never... kind of like detection mechanism in the pots and like when one of them is like in the bathroom. Yeah, when one of them is dry, it goes like you hear the tinkling of water in some weird random part of the bit of the apartment, the house. Yeah. Some kind of auto boiling kettle kind of thing, yeah. Mm-hmm. And uh, there's definitely some kind of automated coffee toaster situation in the morning. Yeah. You, no, you're right. She probably has all these little gadgets that probably Selesnia doesn't really approve of, but what are you going to do? Uh, so... Talon and Mariah both spend the night in the within the safe confines, the loving embrace of the Selesnia Conclave. Uh, Azrael and Kalista, you guys split up, or where do you end up spending the night? Uh. I, mean, I guess. I'm kind of just sticking to the plan of, like, going to the Caldera. Mm-hmm. I mean, you are in Precinct 1 already. Mm -hmm. uh, no, that's fair. I mean, if we're already there, then I would probably stay at home. I would walk Kalista home, and then I would go to Talia's. Okay. And as the morning dawns, where do you, like, do you all intend to meet up at the caldera? Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. Say, like, 8 o'clock? Yep. Yeah, that's about right. Sounds good. Then that is where... We will meet up. It is another very Ravnican fall day. There is like that slight mist of rain. Um, it's darker than it has to be because of cloud cover. And it's the kind of like, you don't really get wet. It's just everything is moist. Great. So moist. I love the word moist. I just love so saying good. it so so much. Mm -hmm. But there are some who absolutely fucking hate it. Mm -hmm. It's so hilarious. Like Ash. <laughs> I know. Hate it. <laughs> I just dislike you just it. very strongly dislike it. Uh, but yeah. Um, you arrive at the caldera, like, just after the main breakfast rush has left. Like, most people start work at 8, so, like, they finished their breakfast 10 minutes ago. Well, that's good. I prefer a more quiet breakfast, I think. And as you all find yourself seated, um, probably in the booth next to where Azrael keep her dogs, um, Kiros shows up to take everyone's breakfast order. Not yours, Kalista. Okay. <laughs> like, he in Kalista's... Yeah, in Kalista's case, he just, like, 
rolls up with a pot of coffee uh, and like one large mug of hot chocolate with like a dash of caffeine with mm -hmm. what can only be uh, considered an avalanche of whipped cream with tiny marshmallows on top and just yes. puts it in front of you and then the cups and the coffee put in front of everyone else. Perfect. The regular? Yes, please. Not hearing any objections, he assumes that the same goes for everyone. Yep. And he disappears yep. back into the yep. I was trying to think what my usual is. <laughs> I think it would be uh like a crepe and fruit like strawberries or whatever fruit is in season. Mirai is probably like Sounds pretty good. Yeah, she probably doesn't want something super heavy. And then she's like, oh, that looks like the smallest thing on the menu. And like the order is actually pretty big, but then there's fruit and it's tasty. So you just end up picking at it until it's all gone. Sure. She strikes me as the kind of like doodle eater that like doodles things on napkins while so she needs food that like she can eat with her fingers or a single fork. Yeah. Talon probably gets something vegetarian. Yes, with protein. Yes. And as like roast probably... steak. <laughs> he gets no. a plate of beans. For <laughs> <laughs> like, that's all that's on it. Beans. Yeah, beans. Some kind of soy substitute. Mm -hmm. Um and I think Azrael is the only one who like eats nor like toast and Grand Slam with eggs. Denny's. <laughs> yeah. It's just bacon and eggs, that's it. Yeah. I need protein. Egg Help my iron. Are... Eggs are protein. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you should have like liver and onions. <laughs> oh god, no. So much iron. And after like five minutes, uh, plates plop down in front of you. Uh, Kalista's order is the only one that like really seems to change. Like everyone's order changes by the season and like what they have, but it tends to be pretty similar. Kalista's order is the only like today. It's just ice cream, just ice cream in a bowl. That's your breakfast. Mm -hmm. It's three different kinds of ice cream, and then everything's topped with like whipped cream and some kind of like caramel syrup. But you pretty much get, like, the sweetest thing they have in the kitchen right now. Perfect. So you and found some more of these portal walkers, then? I think so. Why we lose, huh? Taylor, Taylor, don't know. Don't portal. talk about the ball. Uh, when we went to investigate, we found these two people. They didn't seem to be from around here. And they spoke a language I'm pretty sure. No one speaks, I guess. Maybe on, like, the other side of Ravnica, but... My current leading hypothesis is that they're from an alternate timeline. The Our common language developed entirely differently. But then they could speak common, so... Hmm. Did they seem lost? Not entirely. No. They said they were gonna meet some friends. 
Oh, Drew, do all these strange portal users know each other? Well, some of them could know each other. It's no doubt a question. Why do we never get these portal users' names? <laughs> you didn't get their names. They weren't especially pleased with me. I don't think I didn't want to... They were not pleased. They seem not wanting to take part of their conversation. Well, that would have been similar to the last one on another. She didn't really want to talk to us. Okay, you see one of them was wearing bright red and blue. So I just asked them if they had any affiliation with the Isid League. And they don't. Hmm. Well. But as we know, these portal users don't seem to have any guild affiliations. How many is that now? Just three, right? We have what? The portal users. There was the kind of redhead in blue robes down in the under city. And then the two that you found now. Yes. Yes. That does seem a bit weird, doesn't it? It does. I asked them about the tent, and... I don't know, it seemed like they were avoiding concrete detail. Maybe it's just because they didn't like me interrupting them. It's possible. Did you see where they went? Not really. Guys didn't follow them. I mean, That'd it's getting lovely. on pretty late at night. And they seem to have enough magic to probably deal with us quite quickly and soundly if they had to. If they noticed us following them. What about your cat? Eh, it was a risk. Right. Well, hopefully they don't mean Ravnica any harm and they'll go back to wherever they came from. Wouldn't that be nice? Have you started to work on the Sending Stones yet, Marai? Uh, I think I've spent the two days with them now. Didn't we just get the stuff yesterday? Yeah, we just got the stuff yesterday. And then you went out wing manning. Oh, okay. Then no. <laughs> You could start it today. Good. Okay, well, um... Do the rest of you have any plans? No. But we...
No, I do not. What? Yes, you do. I don't. Yes, you do. Do I? What plans do I have? I don't know what your plans are, but you sound just like you do. Like what? And, oh, well, I... <sighs> oh, no, like you forgot, like you're trying to pretend you forgot. What is your plans, Azra? I don't have plans. I forgot that I didn't have plans. That's why I sighed. You're a liar. So are you. But you're a bad one. So are you. Wrong. I'm a fairly well liar, Kalista. You're a not good liar. And I've lied to you many times. And I've known it every single time. Really? Yep, it's true. Mm -hmm. Well, if we don't have anything to do today, maybe we could... I don't know. I have some stuff that I could do. We need to give Marai some time to work on her stones too. How much time do you think that you need? Hmm. Probably two eight-hour sessions. A lot of time. But that's okay. Um... Kalon? Yes? What are you gonna do? I don't know. Haven't thought of anything. I don't know about you guys, but... We sort of just got paid and I still feel really broke. We could do some work then. Yeah, I mean, that's one way to get money for sure. Kalista, what do you it's want to do? It's pretty hard though, and takes a long time. What do you want to do? Well, I mean, maybe there's stuff that people forgot someplace. And. No. But. If you forget it for more than six hours, then it's not yours anymore. And so anybody can have it. That's an interesting take. So you're saying if someone was that God or was that someone? <laughs> yeah, was well, that God or someone else right now? <laughs> that was me. Okay. okay. Kairos okay. is just walking by. Like, yeah. Oh, crimes! You're talking about crimes. Oh, crime. I like crimes. <laughs> I'm down for robbing something. No. I am not you hearing this conversation. To... I'm just gonna make. This Neither phone. of you are Cordelia, who is the only one that would shit on this phone. So. Stealing. Yeah, where is Cordelia anyway? Yeah, where is Cordelia? Uh, and there's much more meat on the table. Either work or boy, the wing woman seemed to find something of her own. Actually, there is a plate for Cordelia on the table. <laughs> Cairo thought she was going to be here. Oh. Yeah. And it's just standing there, a little bit lonesome. And, uh... Like, you're all just starting to look around, like... Yeah, where... Now that you're saying it, where is Cordelia? 
when a familiar figure walks through the door and heads towards the table. Is it Cordelia? Is it Cordelia? Nope! It's Anna. It's Anna. Yeah. <laughs> and she just sits down and, like, grabs a piece of bacon from the plate that was obviously left for Cordelia. Hey, guys. Where's your boss? Hello. Hi, Anna. Hello. Um... Well, she sent me to say that, uh, she's going to be a little bit busy. Oh. Did she say with what? Work. Aren't, aren't you part of her work? Oh, uh, I don't know, like, she has to... ...watch some dude. Um... Alright. I mean, that sounds like good work for Cordelia, to be honest. Yeah. Mm hmm Hey, Anna, how do you feel about robbing? Felisa kind of um... cocks her head at Ozra, like, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> She like leans forward and like scrapes a piece of bacon along the side, like whatever remains of the sticky caramel on Kalista's plate. And like, um, who are we robbing? Azra shrugs. No people. I mean, it's sort of like, what do you mean, no people? Like, or not, nobody's stealing anything like purses or whatever, is that what you mean? Oh no, I mean, let's not steal any people, like, they yell, they make, it's always so Oh, oh no, 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 I, that's yeah, no, that's different, we, we don't do that. Okay. So, Mirai. Do you need help with your <laughs> project since these youthful criminals seem to have other thoughts in mind? Oh, well, you're pretty boring for Please you. Please say yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'd be delighted to have you. It's mostly just gonna be drawing ink on some stones for eight hours, but. I will find something worthwhile doing. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so... First of all, I do want to clarify one thing. Um, robbery is not actually a crime, it's burglary that is. So, all we're doing is taking stuff that nobody's using and making use of it. So, we're sort of like giving abandoned stuff a new purpose. It's actually a really good thing to do. Mm -hmm. We take from mm -hmm. the useless to give to the useful. Why don't you just fast talk people into debt? and then come collecting that's that's a manner of stealing because that takes so much longer to do and they are also they are already doing that i, I, I do that. not that's, that's true that, well, those i mean that's sort of exactly what you do that's not what i do i kill people that's what i do which you is on their dad azra that's a crime <laughs> no i do it when i'm told to it's not a crime it's a job oh that's true if it's in the contract, unfortunately. Yeah, it's in my contract, yeah. You don't pay your debts, you don't make payments, I kill you. Like, that's how it works. Yeah, no, you're right. That's what they signed up for. Um... So what are you planning on robbing? <laughs> well... <laughs> 
good question. Yeah, what are we planning on robbing? Are we gonna have like two heists? This seems like a two heist type of deal. I want us to do some crazy Mission Impossible heist and then just keep cutting back to Mariah and Taylor drawing on. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> the actual Mission Impossible theme and then scene switch and it's like, bloop. Yeah. Bloop. They're just both watching paint dry yeah. on a yeah, and rock. Like, Talon is just down, like the front legs is just down on the knees and then hands just placed on the ground, just staring. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Talon goes to say something where I was like, uh-uh, don't ruin the magic. <laughs> <laughs> just shoot out and explosions in the other scene. Yeah. And just... Um, well, we could, didn't you have something that like, your father was maybe going to have some information otherwise I mean I'm sure there's a lot of things on my list I've been keeping an eye on that we could maybe do Caliban hasn't gotten in touch with me about the vaults yet so why don't we do your thing until he lets me know more okay You coming with us, Anna? Well, sure, I don't have anything back. So. Wonderful. Do take care now, and let's not find you in a Boris prison cell. Well, that's why we're bringing Anna. Take care of them, Anna. You're the only one I trust. Okay, wow. thank you. <laughs> Fucking I, wow. I, I wink at Azrael and Kalista. Azrael leans over to Kalista. I'm not sure. I'm right. I mean... Not after that comment. Come on, Kalista. Well, I... You have to do the stuff to get the stuff. There's three people, so there's three shares. Mm -hmm. Sounds good. This seems fair. So, what's on your list? Where are we going? What are we doing? What's on your list today? Well, there's... I wouldn't hit up 10th Street again after... You know. Oh, yeah, well, okay, yeah, that's... I think that was 10th Street, maybe. Wherever we were. Mm-hmm. Okay. So, there is a little place that I know of, and it's pretty much abandoned, um, but it's full of, like, really old stuff, and I think, I'm pretty sure that there's, like, some armor in it, and, like, maybe even just some gold and gems and stuff and art. And it's kind of like it's a museum. But I never oh. see anybody go in or out. Are we robbing a museum? Well, it's... It's full of really old stuff. And... Oh, it like no, basically no, no. just repeats <laughs> exactly what you just <laughs> said. Azra just holds up her hand and goes, No, 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 I'm down, I'm down. This sounds like fun. Just don't get yourselves hurt. Crime is like the only thing Azra really is just like this type of crime. She's 100% fine with. But like anything else, it's just like no police to bad. But 100% she just likes doing, <laughs> likes robbing people. Uh. We have to have some way to get some of these bigger things out because there's like you know, statues and things that probably would get pretty good price, but, um... We could get the bag of holding. 
but you can't really fit the whole statue in it. So I think that what we sort of need to do is find like some carts and um, you know, some way to cover things and yeah, it'd be pretty good. I don't actually think it's a museum though. I think that it's like, Okay, so out of character, like, museums typically, I mean, like, what they have on display isn't the entire stock, right? Like, they're going to have... Yeah, it's in the back room. Yeah, the back room, or, or a separate building entirely, where stuff is kept in between shows. Um, well, uh, it's probably, like, a, a conservationist area, yeah. like... Between having things on display, they always come back here when they get new stuff. It's always like checked over, made sure that you know it's it's uh, pristine or at least as as well preserved as they can make it. Exactly. Yep. Restoration, and you know, every once in a while, sometimes something super valuable goes back. I bet, and it's maybe sometimes they forget that it's there, or they don't even know what they have. That's happened before. Somebody just donates some old piece of furniture from something, and it turns out that it's like super, super, super old and famous. I really like where your head's at, Kalista. I really do. I really, really do. I don't know how much I feel okay with the 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 larger items maybe littler items well I mean we'll just sort of have to see if we have <clears throat> a couple of cards it should be no problem I mean but then a couple of cards that's a little bit more noticeable but not if you cover them up it'll be just fine I mean covered cards are still noticeable it's cards Kalista well it's less noticeable than uncovered cards I... okay well you have a point but that does not change that it is more noticeable plus you people. can just sort of walk down the street to them and say oh these are just all my apples these are I have uh, some oranges in here nothing to see they're not for sale oh. okay 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 Let's just uh, go without carts. <laughs> well, I'm going to bring a cart or two. Can I get an investigation from you, Kalis? No. <laughs> <laughs> Redoing it. No, maybe... Mm, ooh, eh. Don't. Yeah. You, you're going to need it. <laughs> Yeah, no, I mean, you've scoped this place out pretty good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, definitely has uh, valuables, lack security. Um, yeah. Nothing bad's gonna happen. Nope. Pretty much empty. Where is this place, Kalista? The um, district. Uh, it, well, it's in District 10. Uh, what precinct? <laughs> One. I live here, I know. Hmm. So I sort of already have a plan, okay? And this is why the carts are going to work just fine, okay? Okay, what's the plan? Well, I know that there's like only one or two people that works there to keep an eye on things, but if we disguise ourselves and that we say, you know, we're here to uh, do inventory and to move stuff around some and don't worry, we're official, uh, we have to move some of these things to a different place for... Um, for a show, then they'll just let us take it and won't ask any questions. All right. Um, I should tell you preemptively that I can't do that thing that I used to do anymore. What thing that you used to do? You remember how I could just change into people? can't do that anymore. 
That's okay, all you have to do is wear the same clothes. We'll just get the same set of clothes for you and me and for Anna, and we'll look just like we're in uniforms. It'll be just fine. Okay, so where do we get the uniforms? Black pants, white shirt, or of uniform, easy enough. Everyone's uniform. Oh, well, that is true. Wait, does that mean I can't, I can't wear my armor? You can just wear your, your armor. Like, just take off your jacket and we'll find some kind of, like, cheap-ass overcoats. Okay, 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 I'm, I'm about now. I'm back on track. This goes a janitor crew. No one ever... No one ever expects, expects the janitor. janitor. <laughs> Alright. Well. Okay, I'm gonna need a pinky promise from everyone. Okay. No one tells Cordelia I did crime. Oh, fuck no. Yeah, no, that's a pinky promise every direction. Yeah, yeah like, yeah, no, yeah. no worries. She's As gonna look directly no, over I at Taylon. Taylon, swear. <laughs> Taylon? Yeah. Promise not to tell Cordelia. He looks thoughtful for a moment. Mm. This once. Think about you it, Taylor. If, you, you, if you tell her ever about our crimes, what she's going to do is think that you're the most one that she can trust, and then she's going to make you watch us forever. You're never going to be able to be alone again. You'll have to be our supervisor until you die. And well, I think... not our supervisor, our babies. And yeah, I, I think that sense. would be, well, Awful. terrible for you. It would be worse for you, I swear it. Mm -hmm. I, I promise you it's worse for you. Have you ever seen what centaurs do? And if I have, have to you, have you been all with Kalista in a room by herself for like an hour without anything to do? Have you been in a room with me for an hour without anything to do? I bet you meditate. Yes. Perfect. Is that Lesnia for masturbate? No. I think he meditates for an hour with his eyes shut. Ha. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> You'll need it. Glares at Talon. Okay. So I trust it. Okay, where are we going? This Precinct well, one? Precinct one, but we have to get cards and disguises first. We'll get them on the way. Okay. Okay. <laughs> And probably a couple of horses. Okay. So, uh, yeah, I mean, uh, two horses, a cart, and a couple of cheap disguises. How much money are you putting into this? Well, need to have pretty good cart. Uh -huh. The disguises have to be like convincing because it wouldn't really make too much sense if just like, you know, anybody in some raggy old shirt just came in and, you know, it has to look official. So maybe we could find, um, like a uniform supply, uh, you know, some place that actually makes uniforms for different companies, and just as long as it's all the same and we fit, um, that would be good. Um, yeah, that's probably precinct four. Uh, yeah, you, you, that's where you could get. Like, along Tin Street is where, like, the main markets are. That's where we'll go. Um, horses... I mean, everyone knows Celestia breeds the best horses. That's 
So that would be precinct three. I mean, we'd probably want like a draft horse, right? Or maybe even two. Or we could get an elephant. <laughs> That's super not low profile. It's more like a smash and grab type of job, so... <laughs> Save Far Cry 3. Um... <laughs> yeah. Um... Okay, so... Like a horse to pull the cart. Two horses to pull the cart. How many horses do we need, Azra? You're the horse lady. We'll get two horses to pull the cart. That way okay. it can be faster. That's what I was thinking, too. Okay. Or once you burden the cart, it can still move. Yeah. Hmm. So, like, it's 115 gold if we're buying them. Should we buy them or should we rent them? We could rent Will them, we have I guess. any reason to buy them for later? I mean, unless you want we to could. own horses. Do you Why want to not? own horses? Yeah, I want a lot of horses. I want okay, like 15 horses. Okay, then why don't we buy the horses? Yeah, let's buy the horses. Two horses and the cart. Okay. And the, the uniforms. Clothes. And some saddlebags. Actually, you know what? Maybe a wagon is better. Because a wagon is much bigger and can carry more. Mm hmm. Okay, so a wagon, two horses. Yeah, a wagon. And the and uniform. Two and the uniforms. So, how much is this? Well, 135 for the wagon and the two horses. 10 gold for the uniforms. 10 gold for the uniforms, so 145 gold. Alright. So basically just like 50 for each of us. Sounds good. I'll hand her 50 gold. Unless Anna doesn't have any money, then it's 75 for each of us. I have gold. Okay. She hands Can over fifty. Like, again? <laughs> like it was <laughs> Anna's. It was Anna's payday to yesterday. Everyone got paid. Wonderful. Okay. So, uh, roll me a D four. So about three hours later, you have the horses, you have the wagon, you have the uniforms. Yeah, we're going to try to go like fairly late at night, like after the sun goes down, because we're like the night crew, you know. Okay, okay. Do we want to scout it out? Like yeah, for sure. Yeah. We want to scout a little bit, maybe try to see, um, you know, how big it is for sure. I just kind of want the others to know what's going on. Because somebody told me about this place, but I haven't seen it for myself. Okay, so we're going to scout that out. Uh, since we started this planning at 8 in the morning, and we're waiting until the evening, but we're scouting, uh, in that time... Azra would like to send a couple letters to people. Yeah, that's fine. Wonderful. Uh, can I get a perception check from uh, Azra, Kalista, and I'll roll on for. Damn! We scout this bitch out. Oh, no. In our character sheet. (laughs) 
Okay. Yeah, um... The building itself uh, is quite nondescript. Uh, it... is uh, behind the museum itself, like a block over. Uh, it's quite a nondescript uh, warehouse, and it's like back backed up against uh, the district wall. Uh, the main, like, exterior district. Sure. Wall. Um, it is a, a pretty large building that you can see. Um, not as large as the museum itself, obviously, but uh, substantial. Um, you can't really scout the backside since, like, it is flush like it's built into the wall uh like the the district wall is probably the back wall of the and uh it's kind of like a it's a pretty like fat building like it's it's wider than it's long uh there is like at, at around um four o'clock five o'clock uh you do see people leaving how are they dressed? Uh, they... Mainly in, like, civilian clothing. Uh... Uh, but they do seem to have... You, you know those, uh, like, security guard... Shoes? Yes. They all have that, and just, like... Other than that, it's pretty not like it's you change into uniform at work. You don't wear your uniform going out to dinner after work. Right. Mm -hmm. So none of them are wearing uniforms as they look. Uh, but you have seen a couple of people like letting people in um, over the course and you've seen a mix of uniforms like you've seen a couple of like delivery people uh bringing stuff in you've also seen people dressed in um like white lab coats that seem to be from the like curators and, and uh, restorers from the museum itself And uh, the security guards seem to be wearing like a navy blue kind of uniform. Okay. I assume you went for the curator like uniform yeah. since you were going to remove items. Yes. Okay, so while we're doing some of this scouting, um I'm going to start writing up some um work orders, I guess. Mm-hmm. And I am going, I think, to hit the the button on that. Okay. 
Yeah, we'll see. Yeah, much better. The more layers of believability that we have to get in, the more we can get away with without suspicion. So, having a passable forgery, because I'm proficient with that kit, um, would give us some more room to move without seeming suspicious. And in the work order, it's essentially, um, I'm not going to list specific items to take. Um, it's basically just going to be, um, like, generically written enough where it's, okay, so for example, um, get all of the things required for the display on the 13th um it, it, like that type of yeah like, like somebody's had a conversation so i know what they're talking about but it's not listed item for it's not an itemized list it's like um yeah yeah like referencing an itemized list yes but it's not in the actual paperwork exactly Got it. So, uh, yeah, it's getting dark. Uh, you see a bunch of people leaving at around 4 o'clock, but there's still security in the building. Um, people came, uh, a bunch of people came on shift at uh, around noon. So judging by that, you're expecting the night shift to come on at about uh, 11. Okay. Um, let's, like, as soon as the shift changes, um, we'll give, like, five minutes and show up right after the shift change. Yeah. Um. Meanwhile. Mirai. Yes. Give me an Arcana. Okay. Yeah, you're uh, like chugging along on your sending stones. It's it's going very well. Um, like you've got your potions are brewing. Your Enchanting's enchanting, um, and you have Talon watching you. <laughs> um, what is going on in the work area that uh, Mirai has been given? Just with us or the other people too? Because there's kind of like a yeah, shared... Yeah, the, the, it is a shared. Like, there are four other people who also have their workstation in the same room. A couple of them give you some odd looks about the centaur. <laughs> That's fair. The, the obviously Celestian centaur. I bet we're eyeing one of those, like, Tesla coils kind of warily as we're just trying to, like, paint stones and we don't want to get zapped. Yeah. And I feel like th there's kind of like a deadpan silence for the first three, four hours. And then like around lunchtime, someone finally breaks and go like, uh, so Mirai, who's your um, friend? Uh, this is Taylon. He uh, wanted to see what it's like being a member of the Isid League. And so, just showing him around. I had some uh, 
pretty basic work to do, so. Talon, welcome to the Izzet League. How are you enjoying it so far? Has there been complete silence up until now, just people working? Mainly people working with a lot of like looks and whispered conversations like, why is there a centaur? I don't know. <laughs> mm -hmm. Well, so far it seems interesting. Different than the Conclave. It's definitely louder most of the time. So I hear. Far in the distance, you hear like a muffled yelp and like a pop. <laughs> hmm. You see two people further down the table, like exchanging money. Like they had a bet. It's Mikhail again. Yeah. Pulling himself up. He never checks his week. capacitors before his experiment. Is it truly so regular an occurrence? Science With the goblins? No security checks. <laughs> yeah, and the goblins tend to blow themselves up more often than they don't. But they kind of enjoy blowing themselves up. Yeah. Yeah, there's definitely an aspect of that. I think it satisfies their nature of being slightly chaotic. Very true. Well, in any case, so far it's been... I said different. Well, have you seen the library? The library here is top notch. I have not. No, I have only seen what Mirai has shown me, that not being part of it. <laughs> have I not been a gracious host? I'm sorry. Would you like to be shown the library? Oh, you have been quite the gracious host. This was the agreement up until now. But I would like to see it. Thank you. Yeah. You might find a book more interesting than literally watching paint dry at times, so. I've watched plants grow. Not much different. You got me there. Um, I don't know how many natural topics you'll find in the library, but... Well, can always have a look and probably not understand most of it. Why don't you... Give me, um... Investigation. Oh, sure. Oh! Okay! <laughs> I'll take this. I recommend yeah. the schematics for the transuranic archivist. Yeah, really like... rousing. Mirai keeps talking, but you do find the... Herbology section. Hmm. And uh, there's some really interesting, like... Is it, like, covered in dust? <laughs> no, like, I mean, it's definitely not the one that's in the most used, but, like, is it research pretty much everything under the sun? Yeah. Um, and you do find one book that sort of appeals to you. Uh, it's called The Magic of Life. Uh, plants, fungi, and their uses in the arcane. Flick. Flick. Flick, 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 flick. 
Yeah. Uh, give me an Arcana check. Ah, <laughs> uh, all the good rolls. I'm loving it. Yeah, no, it's it's really quite interesting. Um, like some of it is quite dry material. Um, like some of it is, you know, potion making. Um, but there are uh, a couple of sections that you find quite interesting because it sort of relates to your own magic. Mm -hmm. um, there is a section that talks about the use of certain herbs in um, the making of various portals. And like how to identify like what plants have been used um in by the smell of them mm -hmm. but then there is one section and uh i think that one is it stands out because from what little you know of like the magic of portals generally you need to cast them but there is like a reference here to even those who do not require um, any form of magic circle to you cast or use a portal uh, find that drinking teas containing certain herbs uh, makes the passage easier. And that section, like, if you look at the, what's the, what do you call it? the index? Um, mm -hmm. That section is uh, written by an Iset researcher named Raul Zarek. Raul? R-A-L, Zarek. Uh -huh. But it's just interesting because, like, you've run into these people that don't have any visible circles when making portals. So, I think that's why that stands out. Mm-hmm. Click, 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 click. And other than that, I think you have a perfectly lovely day making sending stones. And uh, it almost feels like bring your kid to work day. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Meanwhile, back in front of the warehouse, honest like going over all her arrows. <laughs> Hiding them in various places. Um, yeah. Like, she can't really walk in there with, like, a... Right. A bow. A yeah, paper. so, like... Right. The bow goes in the cart, like the side of it, so it's within easy grasp. Yep. And you do see them like driving cart into the building. It has like one of those like big doors that you can draw, take a cart right okay. to the side of it. <laughs> Are we good to go? I'm ready. Yeah. <sighs> OK. 
Okay, here we go. Um, the person, I assume, okay, so when they open that door, I assume that there's somebody there that's like checking paperwork, right? Uh, like you've, when you've seen people go that, like there's a smaller door that you kind of like, you knock on that door, they check the paperwork, then they open the big door. And you pull your card around. Okay. Yeah. Um, have I seen, oh, I assume that I would have seen the person that's checking paperwork. What do they look like? Yeah, like that guy just went off shift. So. Okay. Who, who replaced him? Uh, you're not sure. Like, okay. no one's come to the gate. Okay. Um, then, yeah. I'm gonna just pick a different voice that I've heard. Doesn't, I mean, we're at a tavern often. Mm -hmm. And I'm around people for more yeah. than a minute, so. Uh, yeah. Um... Just get everybody into position as we've observed them do in the past, and I will bring up the paperwork. Knock on the door, I assume. Yeah. Yeah, it opens. Uh, it's a guy mid 40s. Um, yep. He has that, like, you know, used to play sports in high school, but gone to seed a little bit. Okay. What used to be muscle is now fat. Classic security guard look. Right. What's the guy who plays in the King of Queens? He looks like that guy. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Okay. Paul Blart Molkop. This guy. Perfect. Hi. Well, uh, we're just here to pick up a couple of uh, items for the display on the 13th. But this is damn. my paperwork. Damn late for it, isn't it? Yeah, like well, there, you know how things go, don't you? It was, um, <laughs> just one thing after another. Be glad when this day's over. Mm-hmm. How's your night going? Well, I just started. So far, so quiet. I'm sorry to hear that. It's gonna be a long night. You're missing your list. The itemized list that's not in here. <sighs> There's like a, a long sigh and like... It's a combination of like rolling the neck back and grabbing the temples. Sir, how long have you been doing this job? 13 years. So, you've trained in a new person or two in your time? Sure have. And Kalista looks back at the cart and back at Anna, who's um, probably the, the fresh face, you know. Yeah, she's kind of like slumping in the cart, like... Like, she's, like, almost falling asleep, but you can tell that her hand is, like, by the bow. So she could grab it if she needed to. Uh, give me a deception. I got you. Well, just make sure the list is here sometime by tomorrow. No one's going to check this until Friday anyway. What day is it today? 
it's like Saturday, so you have okay. a week. Actually, it's Sunday because the party was yesterday. Yeah, that? that's right. Yeah. Yep. Um, and, and I'll he's just sort like, of like touch him on the shoulder. Thank you so much. And he like looks over his shoulder and makes like a, you know, that get it rolling motion, mm -hmm. and you hear like a faint whirring of gears as uh, the door opens. Uh, give me a perception check. Uh, Azrael, you can make a perception check. Samesies. You know how I said this was leaning against the wall in the mm -hmm. back? It ain't leaning against the wall in the back. Yeah, that's what I figured. Fuck a ball, we're stealing from a museum. Okay. And, uh, like, as far as you can tell, there's about five security guards on watch. Uh, there's, like, a guard room. They're all, like, sitting, playing cards, drinking coffee. Um... The itemized list is pretty much what tells you where things is. Because, like, it's all, like, this is A, and then there are, like, 15, like... The the rows are marked are alphabetically, and then each column is marked by a letter. It's Ikea. It's insanity. That's what it is. Uh, so... There's basically a shit ton here to steal, but you don't know, like, what's worth anything. Uh, and it's massive, and you have very limited time to serve. This is the, this is the badness from the yeah. eighth investigation. Yep. But you did roll some good rolls, so th right. there's valuable shit in here, but... It How maybe was we end like, up with. Yeah. yeah. We're fishing with magnets. Yes. Yep. Uh Okay. So I think we do this sort of like Okay. So it, it's like you remember that old game show where it was like they sent somebody through a grocery store with a cart yeah, yeah, in like yeah. 60 seconds. They're mm -hmm. remaking that show actually. Yes. Yeah. Um and I'm thinking that's essentially what we do is try to grab as many things like we're going to prioritize stuff that one of us can lift at a time and stuff that's um, uniform enough to fit in the cart. Um, yeah. Like so, so that we can similar... maximize the surface area. We should keep a similar like theme, though. It'd be Give... weird if we're yeah. just randomly grabbing. Well, shit. right. We're going to grab. We're just going to find a bay essentially and okay. like stuff from the adjacent spots we're not going to go all through it but okay good yeah give me an intelligence everyone Kalista. or just Kalista okay. yeah like I'm like this is Kalista's off so like I'm mainly having her okay just straight intelligence all right yeah just straight intelligence okay yeah, okay um you do notice that the way, like, the heavier things are stacked on the bottom and the smaller, lighter things are stacked on top. Mm -hmm. um, that seems to be, like, pretty general. Uh, in some areas, there are, like, shelves that have mainly smaller boxes, but that seems to be, like, between, like, if... Hmm, like, if this is, like, E1. Yep. E2, E3, E4, and then, like, sometimes here there is, like, a natural gap, and then there is maybe a rack here, and that might be marked with, like, uh, you know, Egyptology, right. uh, 1648 to 1721. Yes. 
Um, so yeah, I mean, as far as a general theme goes then, I guess we're looking for um, artifacts, treasure, art, especially. Um, shit, what would be... What would sell for them? I mean, even stuff like um, armors and things like that would probably, I mean, who knows, sometimes you find, like, an old suit of armor and you don't realize that, oh, well, wait a minute, like, this belonged to Charlemagne, like, okay, great, it's an old armor from this period, but it's actually super fucking significant, like, well, you can luck plus, out with stuff armor like is that. easy to hawk if we have to just get money for it. Exactly, and, like, a suit of full plate's gonna be a nice take, but, mm -hmm. um. Uh, can I get uh, Jewelry would a, be great too. Yeah, I would like a D100 roll from Azrol. Okay. Okay. And uh, one from Kalista. And Helen from her. Okay. Like there, there's three people, and you're you're all grabbing shit, but you're also yeah. trying to look like yeah, we're just grabbing the things that we want, and you don't yeah. want to like overdo it. Right. Um. Yeah, not like just walking up to stuff and grabbing it, like looking at the number, like maybe checking a fake piece of paper. Yep, that's the one, and... Yeah. So... Why don't we take our break? I have to roll a okay. lot of times on random tables. Yep, yep. Mm -hmm. Okay. I will be back.
and one Kamana. Oh, fuck me. Here comes the Bobo. <laughs> Oh, oh thank my god. god. Wow, at least oh, you are pretty good. Wow. The girls are carrying you. The babies okay. are carrying you, Azrael. Well, I'm not made to be fucking stealthy. I'm made to hit things. You should reconsider your life choices. I Well, listen, I'm slowly getting to that point. I have, I have things in the works, Kristen. Mm-hmm. So I feel like you're loading all of this onto the crate and like Azrael like picks the box up and then like slides it along and somehow it unbalances something and there's like this precarious creaking like you see this whole pile about to like tumble down and both Kalista and Anna both like heave ho there all their weight to like keep it up frantically like shoving shit underneath to keep this entire tow tower from coming down on top of you and you hear one of the guards like <clears throat> what's going on over there oh uh, nothing we're just finishing up it was there was almost a little bit of a fall they're fine Fucking newbies. Since that was like Kalisa's own voice and not the yeah. voice, she's assuming that it belongs to. Yes. Like he's assuming that it. it oh, it was the same guy. Him. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Okay. Well. Yeah. Then. That... He's like the watch foreman. Like he wasn't paying it. Like he was far away yelling. So. Oh. Okay. Uh, and uh, you manage to secure an exit with a cart that's it's not completely full of stuff but like you felt like you'd you'd drawn enough attention to yourself that it was yeah. time to explain the, the luck fuck was out pushed of it. yeah and uh you clip the clock down the highway mm -hmm. with a cart full of boxes what are you go doing with these boxes? Are we taking it to Kalista's hideout? I mean... Someone needs to call it. Is there... I mean, I guess that's probably the best place. So we can go through, see if we want anything of the shit that we took. Yeah. And then we can find people to sell it. Yes. Yep. Oh, uh, sure. Give me an investigation. Uh... There's like ma mainly there's like jewels, some small valuables. Like you tended to go for smaller boxes over large ones. So there's like some artwork, uh, smaller statuettes, uh, like some jewelry, uh, some loose gems, some old coins. Um, but there are two posts. Okay. In the lock. Oh, okay. Uh, there is a potion of fire breath and a potion of resistance. Ooh. Okay. Thank you. 
um like there's there's quite a few like valuables but it like it's it's stuff that's probably needs to be sold unless okay you know twenty thousand year old rubies right all the special interest so i'm assuming like who who would do the fencing of items does Kalista have a guy, or do I have to have to find somebody? I mean, I definitely have people that can find buyers for things, yeah. Then we're good, then. We're keeping the two potions, though, right? Yeah, why not? They're useful. Okay. Wonderful. Is the potion fire breath useful? I guess. Not wow, fire. okay, wizard. <laughs> That's what I'm saying, is you have someone who can throw gouts of fire around. Maybe... well, you're currently not around. I know. What if I need to use fire now? Well, you can. <laughs> so, yeah, we'll keep the two potions and everything else will fence. Or okay. will Kalista's people will fence for us. Got it. We've got top men on it. <laughs> Top men. Like the fence thing is going to take a couple of days, so yeah, that's fair. Uh, yeah, I'll get back to you on like the the final sums of stuff. Okay. High fives all around. We did a good heist. Yeah. Good job, kids. So, uh, and uh, like, I think it's about two o'clock in the morning by the time that you've like made it to uh, the library and unloaded the cart. Mm. And at that point, I think Talon and Mirai, like they did their thing. They headed back to the Celestia Conclave. They had a lovely evening eating home-cooked meals. Mm -hmm. So wholesome. They've been very wholesome. Like, um... Anna sort of like gives you the like you you know where I live you know where to deliver my share once mm -hmm. the fencing mm -hmm. is done. Hang on, I think someone is firing a gun right outside. Oh, that's never good. <laughs> it's not. It's yeah. It's, it's, it's probably not good. Eh, if I were America, I'd be worried. But well, if it is a family tragedy, it's over now. <laughs> <laughs> that's the truth. I was just gonna say that's a way to react to things, I guess. I mean, it's twenty two twenty four. If the police ask, I can tell them that you heard what a time. Well, nice. I didn't hear one. I heard. heard I heard like no. seven. Yikes! Hope you make fun of those neighbors. Three more. Or is someone trying to kill a bear? No, it's fireworks. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, it makes sense. Yeah. No, it doesn't. Who the fuck is like? It's illegal to fire fireworks now. It's yeah. illegal to rob a museum too, but <laughs> we've done it. So you pretended to do it. There's a difference. 
These are real actual players. So, uh, a new day dawns. It do. It do. Like it does. It does. Indeed. So, uh, same procedure as every year, James? Same procedure as every year, James. Yeah, then I I suppose uh, time is a passing. What are your plans for today? Go ahead. Uh, uh, I'm going to go and see if I can find Ilya in Precinct 6. Okay. I'm also looking for a person uh, by the name of Gideon. Mm. Uh... I assume Mirai is finishing up the Sunday mm -hmm. Stones. Yes. And what is Talon doing? Uh, is it the entire day we're talking about here? Um, I mean, like the adventuring, the eight hour adventuring day. Uh, then probably work for a little work for the Conclave. And then also trying to, because I put a pin in it, figuring mm -hmm. out well, what's the brother up to today? Because it's never good when someone of the Senate knows who you are. Roll me a uh, invest. Oh, yes, investigations. Oh, mm -hmm. I love those. I always roll 20s. <laughs> <laughs> That's a really funny looking 20. Yeah. It is. I mean,. It, it hit its head when it got out of bed. It lost a number. <laughs> it lost a number somewhere. Yeah, it was a 26, but... So let's just say it's a 26. Mm-hmm. <laughs> let's just say that. Yes. <laughs> In our make-believe pretend game here, yes. Um... Those are very good portents. Could I get the 19? <laughs> I feel like I have to see the target if I give it to someone else. I'm not sure. Your soul sees my soul always. It must be enough. <laughs> um. <laughs> yeah, Talon, uh, like, you, you do your shift and, uh, like, it's around noon that you see your brother slip, the, slip away, and you've seen him do this multiple times, so you've yeah. arranged your shift so that it ends at noon, mm -hmm. so you can slip after him. Yep. Um, and uh, he gives you the slip. <laughs> hey, it's my brother. I'm allowed to say that. Mm -hmm. You are not your brother's keeper. Because you can't find them. Because <laughs> you can't. I'm not made for finding things like that. He's not a Hufflepuff. It's not no. like your ranger or something. You designed to track to people down. track or anything like that, yeah. Well, when the DM makes me roll investigation, I can't do nothing about it. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> he slips, little bastard. He does. Well then, back to business, because... Hmm. Yeah, there, there is a reason why you're rolling investigation and not for some. Oh, I bet there is. Um... Azrael, I mean, you go, like, you have the address of her inn. It's not really go yeah, looking not... for as much as uh, heading to... The place. Shitty. Yeah. Um yeah, and uh it's it's a pretty shitty inn. Uh not as shitty as the inn across from Mirai's house. Uh it's in Midori Park, so it's like in the nicer 
area as far as the shitty slum goes. Okay. Um, but you do find her, like, just as she's waking up. She, like, she was definitely doing recon last night. Got a late night, and it's just getting up when you arrive. Long night. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, it was. I hate surveillance work. So boring. Come on in. I will. Enter. Yeah. She, like, gestures for you to have a seat as she, like, starts getting dressed for the day. So your message seemed like it was important. What do you need my help with? It's not incredibly important, but as you are aware, for the last while, I haven't actually gotten to do our job. And... I want some help. I've fallen out of practice a bit. I was hoping you could, uh, in your free time, help get me better. What do you need? I gotta be a lot quieter and a little bit more efficient with my killing. What you're good at. Ezra, you know I'd be happy, mm -hmm. but do you have the time? Because it's going to be a commitment. I can make time. Fine. Meet me back here, three o'clock. In the morning. That's when I come off surveillance. I will be here. I can at least put in a couple of hours of training before I need to hit the sack. Gives me enough time. Good. Have you seen Merrick? I mean, yeah, I saw him when I went to bed last night. How has he been? He's... Oh, you know, the same way he normally is. Snarky, dirty. You guys. No, sorry, you go on. Um, I'm sorry I've been away. And I haven't kept up. Hey. I mean, you, you were following orders. It's not really something that can be helped. To be honest, I was kind of surprised when you joined us to begin with. Well... Needed something to do. There's like a smirk on her face, like... Normally... People like you don't need to do our kind of work. Under normal circumstances, I am in agreement to that, but you look very fancy in your uniform. Very sharp. It's 
not my choice that I wear it. The colors, yes, but the pretty uniform isn't. Tell Merrick I said he's an asshole and also hello. I'll let him know. And hey, you might see him in the morning. I'm sure that he'll stick around if he knows I'm coming around. He hasn't gotten to call me anything rude in a few years. And it's a crying shame that he hasn't. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Ilya. Of course. Azra will stand up. Head out. I'll see you tonight. See you. Thank you again. She, like, shrugs and waves it off. No. Head out. Uh... Kalisto, give me an investigation. Yeah, um, you spend some time in a very familiar neighborhood, um, talking to some people. And, um, you do hear rumors. Rumors are good. <laughs> A man named Gideon. Uh, has been spending some time in the area. Uh, he is a big muscly dude with, um, like, dark hair, a bit of a tan, deep voice. Um, he's been, like, dealing with uh, a couple of the rougher elements of the neighborhood. Okay. Uh, like, some gang activity has been stopped. It's a good thing. Mm hmm Um you do get like a an idea of uh, like the neighborhood he's staying in. But he seems to be keeping a, a pretty low profile. But he does seem to um be staying in the in the neighborhoods that are sort of like uh, around the Dead Bridge Chasm, which also are like the shittiest neighborhoods of Precinct 6. Okay. Do you want to like put in an effort to actually finding the man? Yes. Okay. Uh, roll me a d8. Okay. Yeah, 
you um it does take most of the day like you 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 know plenty of people um and plenty of people know you in return so it's kind of a matter of asking the the right questions to the right people mm-hmm. um and eventually you do get uh, I mean, it's not really an address, but it's a building. Okay. Uh, it's something of a converted warehouse that houses uh, a lot of homeless people. And he is rumored to be staying amongst them. Well, yeah, I would definitely be, um... familiar with that place, I would imagine. Yeah, um... Give me, a. Uh... Perception and stealth. Yeah, you you get in there and the, like there's quite a lot of people staying there, and he's not hard to find. He does mm-hmm. kind of stand out as a sore thumb. He is like a lot of people here are like starving and he is definitely not he is large muscular uh looks like a warrior uh he has a very uh deep voice but he does um seem to have show an amount of care for like those in need Uh, you find him, you know, in conversation with a po- sickly-looking man in his mid-forties, um, with a bad cough. Comforting him. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll walk up to them then. Like, like, not a, a fast, you know, just like a... Sauntering? Yeah, yeah. <coughs> and, uh, you see this man get in, like, talking to the other one, and uh, he's like, I understand that the medication is expensive, but I can cover it, my friend. You don't have to worry. And the man is like bowing and uh, thanking him profusely. And, you know, he gets a pouch of coins and takes his leave. And as Gideon turns to leave, he almost like walks into. Oh, oh, I'm so sorry. My mistake. Are you okay? I'm fine. You're Gideon? I am. And you? My name is Kalista. Kalista? Are you new here, Kalista? I don't think I've seen you here before. Okay, so this is like a new... Is this something that he has started here? Or is this a place that like homeless people have been? Because like... She does a lot of that stuff. Yeah, like homeless people have been going here for like decades. But you probably haven't been around in the last month. Like 
things have been pretty goddamn hectic for you. Yeah. And he's been here for like three weeks to yeah. a month. So like, it's like if you work at a homeless shelter, like, you know, the homeless that come there when you're there. And then, yeah. you know. Not exactly. I haven't been here in a few weeks. Just have been really crazy busy with some strange things, but um, I've been here before many times. I know a lot of these people. And he gives you like a look. Um, like your clothes are too nice for you to actually be a homeless person. So he sort of like gets the gist that you're also helping out, I feel. Mm -hmm. Ah, well. In that case, I'm sure they will be thankful to have you back. I'm also sort of here because... Um... I work for someone who asked me specifically to find you and to introduce the two of you to one another, I think. Her me? Na her name is Kaya. Does he react to hearing the name? Mm, no. There, there's more of like a, a slight frown, like he's going through his mental, you know, little black book, like, Kaya Kaya. Do I know this? I'm sorry, I don't think I know who that is. Probably not. Um... I didn't know who she was until a few weeks ago either, which is pretty weird. In fact, it's pretty weird that I didn't know you too, um, considering what you seem to be interested in doing, and you're really big, and you have big muscles, and apparently want to help people that need it. How long have you been here? Oh, well, not that long, really, not from District 10 originally. Maybe if Kaya is not from District 10, we might have met somewhere in the past. That Can you describe be. her? Um, yeah, I give as good a description as I can. I mean, we're not super close. Yeah, like, but... she definitely stands out just on the account of her being black. Like, right. Ravnica isn't known for its... It's not a hugely diverse ethnic group. Sure. Um... Well, I'm I'm not hiding, little one. If if she wants to meet, I'm here almost every day. Do you think it would be possible that you could maybe at the end of the day come with me and we could both meet her in her office? It's just that you and. Kaya and I seem to have a lot of ideas that are kind of the same, and I think that she wants us all to maybe work together to be even better. I mean, uh, I suppose I could... I could do that. Um... It's still pretty early, but... Uh... It's fine. I don't mind. I can have somebody tell her that at the end of the day we'll stop by and I'll stay here and help you and them. 
Okay. Then we'll meet her at sundown. Perfect. And then, yeah, I'll just send a note with the runner to uh, mm -hmm. Kaya that she can expect us this evening. Uh... Taylor, give me a perception check. Yay! Uh... At around four o'clock, your brother returns. Hmm. Putting a pin in that one. You're gonna put a stick a pin in your brother because he hid from you. <laughs> yes. Uh, yeah, that's fair. Don't mm. you do, do that to your brothers and sisters and all that? Uh. Not like you don't have spells that could potentially track him, though. Oh, oh, I, I know, a little mark. Uh huh. Uh huh. Don't worry, I will be using that next time. <laughs> good, good. <laughs> that uh, is on my mind. <laughs> Mirai, you do finish your sending stone. Yay. And it I is mean, a fine piece of work. It's our sending stones, comrades. Mm hmm Ah, comrade Mirai, how are you? Good, the sending stones are progressing. <laughs> Just as we planned. Oh. And, um... Azrael, are do you doing anything uh, before... Nightfall? I assume you're taking an early night to get some sleep. Oh, I was muted as I was talking. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, I will, before I have a little bit of a nap before my training session with Ilya, I will go and find <laughs> Alex to quickly invite him to come meet my parents. Aww. I think he is very um, flattered and also a little bit like stunned that you're inviting him to, to meet your parents. But he does seem incredibly pleased. Wonderful. I would invite you to meet my family, but I mean, you already know Cordelia. My mom's okay. My dad's a bit of a stick in the mud. Your mom's a little bit terrifying, but yes. Well, Cordelia seems to like you, and to be honest, She's the person in my family that I'm the closest to. Well, I'm happy to hear that then. Yeah, I mean, she doesn't trust you, but you're Azorius. You're Orzov. To be honest, I, mean, I don't think Cordelia trusts anyone. That's very fair and also uh, considerably highly true yeah I, I'm assuming like the two of you probably have dinner together and mm -hmm. you're both quite giddy about the chance of him meeting your parents yep uh Kalista, give me a faction roll. Mm -hmm. 
yeah, you managed to to get the stuff off. Get it fenced. Okay. Then I will split it up and I think I'll like discreetly get it to Azra and Anna, not just like <laughs> oh here's a random amount of money, like you know. Yeah. By the way, you know there's something for you in this place. I left it there, you should go. Oh, damn. All right. Wonderful. Yeah, I think you get like a uh, note from Anna, which is, you know, fill of like black, white, and red hearts. <laughs> uh -huh. I was just gonna say emojis. Did she fucking? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and emoji. like you know, smiley faces and uh, like a tiny cartoon of Anna bathing in a, a tub of gold coins. <laughs> <laughs> and an also a cartoon of her parents being very sad while Anna throws gold at them. Yes. Because you do know that Anna was cut off, like, from the family money when she joined Boros. Oh, that makes sense. And, like, she's a Boros now, but, like, there's still enough, uh... There's still enough, um, ores of in her to enjoy a good payday. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Orzov never leaves. Once it's in, it, it's in for good. Yeah. Much As like... As we can see with Cadelia. <laughs> sure. <laughs> um... <laughs> uh, what? So, at around sun... Uh, like, Mirai, uh, you finished your uh, item at around 4 o'clock. So you have okay. your entire evening and afternoon. Do you have anything specific that you want to do? Mm. Any plans, thoughts that you put into motion? I think I'm done with my science job and now science is my own. So I'll just probably come up with like more science to do. Sure. Um, maybe actually I'll go shopping for less some raw materials for mm -hmm. that purpose some scrap or pretty cool to get my hands on some museum so maybe even go to like is it requisitions yeah uh give me a faction roll okay Mizium? Yeah. We've got all the Mizium that you need. Like, how much Mizium do you need? Like, two pounds of Mizium? Yes. How did you know? <laughs> <laughs> two pounds of Mizium coming right up, lady. Uh, it's for research, right? Putting it on the yes. gills tab. Have fun. Don't blow anything up that isn't supposed to be blown up. It was one time. <laughs> I wasn't even technically there. Mm-hmm. That's what they always say. Uh, Talon, what about you? What are you doing that afternoon? My mind probably skipped same day afternoon yeah yeah 
Good. Like you tried, the, you tried to follow your brother. Yeah, and then just did guard duty after that because yep. fuck that guy. Uh, hmm. Don't have anything special to do. Okay. Well, if you think of anything, you know. Yeah. Feel free to send me a message or interject. Uh, I will. Kalista, you're taking Gideon to see yes. your be bestest, extra, most special friend. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you bring him to Kaya's office. It's just after sundown. Sundown, so it's around seven o'clock in the evening. It is coming, like creeping later into fall, and the sun sets ever earlier. Perfect. Uh, yeah, so I'll lead him up to the office then and uh, wait for Kaya to be available. Yeah. Um, like, by the time you get there, like, most of the church is closed for the day. Um, her assistant has left for the day, but the outer door to her office is open. Yeah, I'll just uh, head on in then. And announce myself coming in. Ah, Kalista. Hello. Um, I did what you asked, and this is Gideon. Gideon, it is good to finally meet you. He was um, helping some people um, that don't have places to live. Some of the same yeah. people that I know. Yeah, she's like stepping out from behind her desk, gesturing to like the the small like couch table setup mm -hmm. where you had your conversation the last time. Yeah, it's like slightly less formal. Please have a seat. And Gideon like sits down, and the furniture immediately looks tiny. Like he is a very large man. And this furniture is on like the feminine side. Like it's not super frilly, but it's like definitely on more the feminine side of of things. Sure. Kalista will probably find like. If he's sitting on the couch, like in the middle of it, like the the shoulder, like the arm of the couch, and like yeah, like he's he's even trying not not to man spread, but like yeah. he he kind of does take off the love seat by himself. Yeah, that's okay. She'll sit on the the arm, like with her legs on the cushion, like her feet on the cushion, like facing him, mm -hmm. type of yeah. Also, just in Kaya's profile, it says she once had a relationship with someone called Jana. She doesn't miss Jana, but she misses the feeling. Guys, <laughs> crossover. Oh <my. laughs> what? In Kaya's backstory. Uh oh. So. I'm very happy to finally make your acquaintance, Dian. I've heard that we might have things in common. Gideon is like, you know, with, uh, the Orzova is incredibly opulent and mm -hmm. he's like looking around like what what can we possibly have? Yeah. 
Don't let appearances deceive you. We both want the same thing. All of us in this room want the same thing. It's time for a new dawn. A new age. Where... What family you were born into doesn't control your destiny. Orzov is... It's not what it was supposed to be. We were supposed to... Help the people of Ravnica. Protect their valuables as well as their souls, but instead... The church has become tainted with greed. And Orzov is not the only guild that finds itself succumbing to a corruption. The time has come for a change. The guilds have been in control of Ravnica too long. It's time for the people to be in control. Not just those who wear guild colors. All the people should have a voice in the future of Ravnica. Don't you think? Like Gideon's nodding while she's speaking, but she's also looking at you. Kalista. Who's also nodding while she's speaking. But with the guilds having what is basically a chokehold on every aspect of life in Ravnica. It's hard. Orsov basically controls the economy. Boros the military, Azorius the legal system. Any kind of uprising against the current status quo is immediately smacked down and hard. The guilds all hate each other, but they do seem to hate the common people more. My intention is to... Hmm. I wouldn't say destroy the guilds, but make the climate less stable, creating an opening for change. But I need your help. Um, Kalista is kind of trying to gauge Gideon's reaction to all of this as well. And Gideon's kind of like... My lady, I'm not sure what help I can be. I am a soldier, not a politician. Everybody has something that they can offer, and not everybody has to be a politician. Lots of politicians can't do what you can do, and... Kalista is very right. A time of great change is coming. And the guilds traditionally don't deal with change very well. The reason I wanted to talk to you is I know that you spent a lot of time in district 
uh, in Precinct 6. Among those who are probably the most vulnerable from the guild incursions into the daily life of every Ravnican citizen. I need someone who can protect them. I don't want innocence to fall victim to a war that is brewing between the guilds themselves. With Jace dead and Desperia so shortly after, I fear aggression between guilds is coming closer and closer to inevitability. We're tethering on the precipice and sooner or later we're going to go over and when that happens I need someone who will keep the common people and Gideon is like you know nodding like of course like protecting the downtrodden it's what I do I am a hero motherfucking bona fide hero ma'am <laughs> <clears throat> and she looks at you, Kalista. We all will have our roles to play in what is coming. My intention is to ensure that as much of Ravnica as possible it's to share in the bounty of this place. That's why we get along so well. She gives you a smile. I know there are others like you, like me, like Jace. She's very much looking like this is very much intended towards Gideon. Mm -hmm. They're coming more and more every day. I can feel them. those who come to you make sure you keep them safe and he nods quite like like he understands what she's talking about so he nods mm -hmm. quite good I trust Kalista. She can be used to deliver messages securely. I can send to her when I need her to deliver messages to you. And Gideon's like nodding like, oh yeah, I can send to her too. Like, we're both high level people capable mm -hmm. of doing amazing shit and Kalista's like I can't send to anyone but I hear that you both can so mm -hmm. I'm just gonna sit here and nod <laughs> and there is quite a bit of like logistics speak like you know he him going over like how many people live at the warehouse how many people live in the section of the city what kind of escape routes there are in case like but the, at a certain point they're not really talking about politics or grand schemes it's more like numbers escape routes yeah the logistics yeah and i think the meeting lasts for about two hours uh before kaya looks at gideon and she's like i'm 
I'm very glad I got to meet you. I'm afraid that we should not see each other in person till this is over. Your presence here would cause many questions, as I'm sure my presence in the sixth precinct would as well. But just know that you have an ally in me, and I will do what I can to help you. And everyone seems like pleased with the, the end result of the meeting. Good. <sighs> and as Gideon leaves, Kaya does look at you and she is pleased. You did good. Thank you. Now. As for our next step. I do have another thing I need from you. Okay. The Azorius. being leaderless as they are. I want you to find out who in the tug of war that is currently going on, who are the candidates for leadership? What are their chances? Who do we need to be concerned about? Kalista kind of smiles a little bit. Wouldn't be a problem. I was sort of already on that. Good. Oh, and here. And she, like, gives you a small bag. Oh, okay, for the mission. Mm hmm. Thank you. Of course. Good work should always be rewarded. Uh, Talon. Uh, sure. You do find um, Aelia in one of your regular hangouts. Mm -hmm. She's nursing a glass of wine. She smiles when she sees you. Talon. You look well. You look well as well. Nursing that glass of wine. Oh, trust me, I need it. By the sound of it, the Senate is going through a rough time right now. Oh, she sighs deeply and then just like finish the glass and gestures for a refill. Too many chefs. Mm. Means a very messy kitchen, and right now you have a lot of chefs. Hmm. Too many chefs in a kitchen can make it all a whole lot worse. Everything's a power struggle these days. 
Hopefully it, it'll be settled soon. We're having a summit. Hopefully. This week. This week? Hmm. The voting should be done by then. Someone will crystallize as the next leader. Hmm. Well, hopefully that will go well since trouble is finding Ravnica. You think? No. The gruel's about to go berserk. People everywhere having their hands in pies they shouldn't have. No. It's going splendid. Your irony is noted and appreciated. Hmm. So what brings you here? <laughs> Looking at the glass like... Well... I would ask of a favor, but... You seem swamped already. Oh, please. Politics is politics. <laughs> Maybe doing some actual work will take my mind of it. What do you need? Do you know of my brother, Aaron? Uh, Can't remember if I ever told. The sneaky one? The sneaky one, yes. Yeah, you've mentioned him once or twice. Well, matters short. He seems to be very much out and about without wanting anyone to know where or why. That and a member of the Senate knew of his, or at least of the clan's name. I can only link that to my brother. If you would be able to know why, it would be a what, great help. What member of the Senate? Someone by the name of Alexius. I can't remember his official title if it was a. Um, I just be looking it up. Da -da -da -da. Mm -hmm. Arrester. Mm. Well, he did say he was a sneaky one. <laughs> I did. He's always been. A bit of a black horse in the family. Though during these times, I hope you understand that. It would be nice if he did not get involved with the wrong crowd. I see. Well, I can ask around, see if his name pops up. I can also check the arresting records, see if he's been brought in for anything. That would be appreciated deeply. Of course. Happy to help. Hmm. It's a bit of a shame the times are so hectic right now. It is. 
A lot of us don't get to talk much any longer. That is very true. But hopefully... Things will quiet down sooner rather than later. I can only say a drink to that. Yeah, he sort of she sort of raises her glass. She's more than happy to empty it again. <laughs> But of course, I shan't keep you from nursing whatever it is you're nursing right now. Oh, not at all. Your distraction will be a welcome one. I'll let you know what I find out about your brother. Thank you very much. Have a pleasant day. And you as well. Shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. Shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. Uh, Ren is not in uh, District 10. Oh, fair enough. Um, could anyone tell me where she is? Just for curiosity's sake. Uh, yes, uh, she is uh, mapping the gruel presence around District 10. Ah, fair enough. Yeah. But uh, she should return within the, like, within the week. Yep. And uh, when the evening turns tonight, Azrael, at three o'clock in the morning, you have a place to be. Yes. I I will go. And you will get training in how to be a sneaky bitch. Yeah. By a sneaky bitch. By a uh, sneaky bitch. Give me a stealth check. Takes a sneaky, sneaky bitch to become a sneaky bitch. <laughs> it's very true. Yeah, no, that makes sense. Yeah. How close to greatness. We were this close. I know. No, uh, you definitely need more work, uh, which uh, Ilya is happy to tell you about. You do meet Marek, and he is the snarky little shit that you were expecting him to be. Of course um, he is. Like, as Ilya arrives home, Marek goes on. Mm hmm. So. Like, the transition he, period, I get like five minutes of him reading a deck. Yeah. yeah, and yeah. I'm just, oh god damn it. Um, and as night turns to dawn, uh, everyone has found their bed, some for the second time. Uh, and you can all push the long rest button. And... I'm assuming you're still assembling at the inn. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can I get perception checks from everyone? Ooh. Yes. yes. Ooh. 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 <laughs> Ooh. Samesies again, Joe. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Azrael and Kalista, you do notice something. Okay. Okay, what what what, what we got? Um 
There is a strange person having breakfast at the end this morning. Oh. Oh. Strange in what way? Mm, a, a dark skinned woman with hair as black as night. Uh, I think you notice her for different reasons. Um, Kalista, you're like... What are you doing? Yeah, like, she stands out and Azrael is like... That's money. Like, whoever she is, she's got money. Like, she's wearing heavy and ornate jewelry. Mm-hmm. She, she kind of stands out. you want to talk to her or should I or we can both go up I don't want you it talk? to look like we're trying to rob her uh, what, what you think what that we should rob her have? that woman and I'll point her out yeah when you point her out yeah that's the woman you saw the other night with the portal oh yeah she's one of those weird Oh, she is. Most probably, in, in the, any case. Hmm. A portal person. Uh, unless you have something better to call them. <laughs> Do you want to go and talk to her, Kalista? And she'll stand up and grab her plate and take it over. Yeah, the woman is like sitting at her table. Um, she does seem quite unfamiliar with cutlery. And is like really like the, uh, the fork is like stumping her. What is she trying to eat? Uh, it's like egg and uh, toast and bacon. And she's like, this bread is too hard to sop up the food. This is broken bread. I don't understand the intention of this bread. Why, why do I have this tiny triton for stabbing purposes? I will just, even before saying anything or introducing myself, just hold out one of my breakfast donuts to her. You don't need the stabby thing for this one. Oh, thank God, finger food. And she takes it and eats it, and it's like, oh, it's the first thing I could actually eat in like two days. Well, I mean, it's a donut. How come you haven't been able to eat in two days? I mean, I ate, but all the food is so strange. It tastes like practically nothing. Yeah, that's why I like donuts. Oh. Are you still hungry? I know something else you could try. She's like looking at you like, what? What? Okay, wait right here. I'll be right back. <clears throat> and I'll uh, run into the kitchen. Um, basically, like, try to dodge Kairos and like, um, yeah. You're not supposed to be back here. Leave me alone. It's really important. I have business here. <laughs> And I'll look for some of that ice cream, and I'm gonna look for um, bananas, and I'm gonna look for strawberries, I'm gonna look for um, white granulated sugar, and I'm going to look for brown sugar, 
and um, <laughs> okay. table syrup. Yikes. And I'm just gonna dump it all into a bowl and like mash it up with a spoon so that it's like liquidy, like a malt, mm -hmm. and find a straw. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and you bring it back. Smoothie. Yeah, yeah, you bring it back, and she like actually takes a suck of it, and then she's like, <coughs> <coughs> "That's like diabetes in the bowl." Yeah, that's what they call it. I can, I feel the entire inside of my body is coated in sugar right now. Does this feel great? No. Yes, it does have some more. And as she's like focusing on the other, she's like, don't I know you? At Mirai and Talon. Oh, hello. Again, it's funny meeting we you here. Met the other day, yes. Oh yes, the strangers in the alley, I remember. Yes, and you, the visitor. Did you meet up with your friends? No, it was very sad. He was dead. Oh. Who was your friend and my condolences? Oh, no, it's... His... I mean, I think like a friend is maybe like overstatement, but... He was kind of more like a friend of a friend, I suppose. Well. His name was Jace. There's probably like a group wide eye <laughs> meeting. Yeah. Yeah. Like, mm, yeah. Mm. It's like trying to keep it cool. Mm hmm. How did you know Jace? Well, I didn't really, but like I met him once, but we weren't really friends, but. My friend Liliana, she used to date him. Apparently it ended really badly. A lot of things seem to end pretty badly with Chase. And women, it would seem. You know, I've heard that. Apparently he's a bit of a playboy and he's, um, what's the word? Fucked his way through the universe. A little hot under the collar, would you say? <laughs> she just really gets your like... blood boiling to think about it, doesn't it? <laughs> I, I think it's a step away from the temple. <laughs> I think it like takes a moment because like I don't think she connects like how he died at first, and then she's like, "Why died?" Like. Are you allowed to say that? <laughs> I'm I'm Mariah, by the way. Oh. I'm Sahili. Oh. Nice to meet you more properly. Likewise. I'm sorry to hear about Chase. I mean, I knew he was dead, but I'm sorry you lost a friend. I mean, like I said, he wasn't really my my friend, but well, I know Liliana used to date him, and then I know Chandra, and I think they used to date at some point. So yeah, this really sounds like he's living every male's fantasy. Well, except for the dead part. 
Talon oh. just looks at Asriel like before just not saying a thing, looking back at her. Mm -hmm. Um, where's uh your friend, your companion that you were with? Uh, Quatley? Oh, she went to meet another friend. Uh. No, you, you two seemed almost like a fish out of water, but it's good to see that you're actually pretty well connected. Yeah. No, it's been like a weird couple of weeks, really. We were planning to go on a trip, but we ended up here quite unexpectedly, so... Where are you from? What district? Seven? Seven. What, what would Mariah as a character know about district? I was seven? just gonna say, yeah. I was like... Why don't you both roll me a history? <laughs> like, like, oh, what's your social security number? Three. Seven. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> seven. Yeah, We're no, very I mean, about the number seven. you both are pretty familiar with District 7. It's not incredibly far away. Maybe three days travel away from here. But it's kind of like, you know, even though you live in New York, you know about Seattle. Mm -hmm. Right. How was your travels to get here? Uh, Considering everything that's happened? I mean, the airship was horrible. It was horrible. The standard? Appalling. I don't know who designs the airships here, but... Not good. They're just so ugly and lumpy. It almost sounds like you think you could do better. I don't think I could do better. I know I could do better. Hmm. Is that what you do where you're from? Yes. There must be a great deal of wealth in it then. I mean, I'm not struggling for cash. It's very clear you're not. Are you sure you're not, is it, because we have the, the Ravnica's most renowned engineers working for us? Well, I suppose that is true, but... I mean, you don't have renowned. to tour Nivix if you'd like to tour Nivix before you leave District 10. Nivik? Yeah, it's the... Is it headquarters? A giant tower? You can practically see it from here, scraping the sky. Oh. Is that where you build your... Skyships? Some of them. Do you think we could talk to the main engineer? Um, I could see if I could set that up. That would be wonderful, thank you. He needs a stern talking to. Yeah, I've thought of a few improvements myself, but I don't know. Why don't you know? I just keep to myself mainly. Why? Well, I have my own projects and I don't want to rock the boat. But if the boat isn't rocking, it's not really moving anywhere, is it? Maybe you have a point. The only way for progress to truly be expansive and encouraging is if people are open and honest about their strengths and also their shortcomings. Yeah, 
we could use a little bit of that in the is it uh, there's a lot of secrecy as everyone tries to get ahead of one another why most scientists and researchers there want to impress Niv Mizzet, our guild leader. If you are recognized by the fire mine, uh, basically you're set up for life. Is this Niv Mizzet really stupid? Um, <laughs> I don't think so. I've never met him, but. So what would make people think that collaborating would be less worth than trying to go it alone? Um, I think it's just a lot of pretty selfish and uh, self-important people in, is it, unfortunately? So that probably explains why I'm not in is it. Well, make a compelling argument. It's the easiest way to get your hands on it. Mizium. What's Mizium? Never heard of Mizium? What? It's... It's like a material that's practically infused with mana. So it can change its properties based on the kind of man magic you channel through it. It can be what? made to be as light as air. It can be made to be stronger than any other steel. It's highly conductive. Why don't you just create your own material? Well, if it isn't broke, also, mm. the expense of that would be enormous. I mean, if you started out with simple steel, and she holds up the stupid fork that she still can't get to work, if you need it to be something else, and she like rotates it in her hands and it's gold, why don't you just, and she rotates it again, and it's platinum. Make it what you need it to be. And she rotates it again, and it's museum. Fascinating. Yeah, that's really fascinating. Yeah. How did you do that? And she, like, melts her hand together, like, closes them and opens them, and a museum butterfly flies out of her hand. Magic? You must be a master of transmutation magic. I would I would love to pick your brain at some point. Yeah, I'd love to pick your brain. <laughs> I've uh, <laughs> had these thoughts about a Mizium silver alloy casing for a project of mine. I would love to hear your thoughts. I have like 30,000 bottle caps in the bag somewhere. <laughs> and if you could do that, do all of them. Well, I would be happy to to help you with your project, of course. Um, if you have some kind of workshop or a lab, we might be able to look at it together. Um, I had a lab. It, um, it unfortunately experienced a bit of an explosion and a bit of a fire. But I have a workbench in Nivix temporarily. Well, that's better than nothing. And of course, I would be happy to help. Oh, well. Uh, how long did you say will you be staying in District 10? Oh, I don't know. I'm not really able to leave right now. Do you have another one of those round things with the sugar on top? <laughs> yeah. Be right back. <laughs> Is that Kalista? Yeah, Kalista just realized this woman can turn any metal into gold and <laughs> is in love at this point.
Um, yeah, I'm not really sure how long we'll be staying. Um, we're not really able to leave right now, so. Okay. There's no airship? Yes. I mean, but, no. But I... Yes, all the airships are cancelled. But I saw two of them this morning when I was walking here. There was an explosion in the spaceport back in District 7. I mean... Aren't you... I'm uh, inside. No, well, fuck no, I'm not. Yeah, she seems believable. Aren't you worried that you can't airship out of here? I mean, a little bit, but we have friends, so it should be fine. Because friends have airships? Yes, can they take an airship? I mean, worst comes to worst, I could probably build one in a couple of days. She's like looking around for that donut. Yeah, Kalista would be like walking back with it now. Oh. These are lovely. Yeah, well, there's more where they came from. <laughs> You're gonna bribe her with donuts? <laughs> what, uh, sorry, I, I have a bad uh, memory. What district did you say you're from again? Seven. Hmm. And uh, which direction is that from here, from District 10? Oh, um, she looks around. That way? Which direction is she pointing? Uh, roll me a 1d4. <laughs> She's pointing north. Of my knowledge of District 7, is it north of District 10? Roll me a 1d4. <laughs> <laughs> I mean... Nope. She could just be turned around, you know. Asra just nods a little bit. Kind of like, straightens her face. Well, hopefully you you can get an airship and return back home. I know what it's like to be away from home. Yes, it's awful. Let's uh, set aside some time to talk engineering, though. I think it could be really beneficial for both of us. Of course. I mean, I got the room here. My friend recommended it, so I'm going to stay here for the time being. Okay. Kalista stands up and starts walking around to the other tables, um, looking for, like, you know, bottle caps or any kind of yeah. scrap metal that might be laying around. There's, there's plenty of, like, knives, forks. Yeah. Some, can some tin candlesticks. Mm-hmm. You're like, here, make this gold, and she makes the candle part gold, not the candlestick. That's well, fine. It's like, still by weight. Her, her ability is confined to metal. Yeah, metal to metal. Uh, the, the butterfly, the museum butterfly, has, like, flown back and is now sitting in her hair. Plenty of the planeswalkers, I think, only to fairy might be more like where I would just have to know everything mm -hmm. he knows. But Sahili is like number two. She might not specialize in time magic, but she specializes in magic, and that's 
Good enough. Good enough. Can she like craft stuff like crazy? She Ezra is will one of the brightest inventors of her age. It's very true. Mm -hmm. In like a whole world full of inventors. Uh huh. That's totally in District Seven. Uh huh. Just north to the north. <laughs> Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> well, um... Oh, you're holding your plates. How rude. You should sit down. I am so sorry for my rudeness. <laughs> oh, no. The guy's like, let me finish my beer first, at least. Paid good money for this She's beer. literally just the Grinch on the night before Christmas. <laughs> just, like, looking for anything metal to <laughs> shove into a bag. I'm not sure how long it takes Kairos to do this. <laughs> Grumping as well. Oh, fuck yeah. it. Kairos has probably already walked over and been like, yeah. oh my, g get, get, get the child out. Stop it. As well, we need to talk about Kalis. This is. I listen. I'll buy I can't, him new I... ones. No, no, you won't. You'll buy I new won't. ones, and then you'll immediately get them turned into gold and sell oh, them yeah, again. Shit, that is what I'm thinking. No, <laughs> I'll get him new ones. I'll get him wooden ones. They're better. Get anyway. the tableware back on the table. <sighs> Put one if you're down and just searching look at him for if that's enough. crap table, there's <laughs> like a light a light post outside. Just put all the damn forks and spoons and knives and candlesticks and mugs back on the table. Please to put everything that you took from the caldera back where you took it in the caldera, and we will go and get some scrap metal a lot of instructions. I'll try my best to remember what you said to do. Put everything yeah, I, back. Yeah, I remember now. You said, okay, I'll do it. Bye. Uh, Azra is literally walking with her, making sure she puts back everything. Nothing but soup until everything is back. And not salty, salty soup. Like, there's, like, a, a drawn-out, like, are you serious? Like, trying to gauge, would you really actually do that? Oh, Scowling, Azra kind of, like... Kairos have, like, the parent face. Mm-hmm. Hands on hip. She just goes, like, one by one at each place setting and grabs a fork and, like, slams it down on the table and goes to the next spot and just very... Yes, demonstratively. Yeah. Eye contact with each one of them. Meanwhile, like, Mirai and Saheli is probably, like, talking some kind of super advanced theorem in Transfiguration. That no Indeed. one else cares about at all. No, not at all. And as... Uh, Sahili finishes her breakfast and I think everyone pretty much finishes their breakfast except for Mirai who was too busy like scribbling stuff down and she's like a picker at breakfast anyway uh, you can see the, the like jewelry that Sahili is wearing sort of like it's rigid so like when you're like sitting or standing like it would be uncomfortable it would cut into you but it's sort of like just flows like water changing the way it moves and its pattern as she moves so so cool <laughs> Were you going to show me where these airship engineers are? Yeah, sure. 
I've got nothing to do today unless. And I'll look it to... was very lovely to meet you all. It was really lovely to meet you too. I'll probably stop by and to see what you guys are all doing. Of course. Are you interested in transmutation as well? Yes, I am. <laughs> well, I would be happy to give you some pointers anytime. Yeah. Yeah, that would be fine. <laughs> Kalista will be like, I will need a lot of practical demonstrations, please. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and as the two women walk out the door, that is where we're gonna end tonight, Fashion. Yeah. Oh, it's midnight. Yeah, that's...